the entrance unto them. <clears throat> Filled by the Lord with a spirit of understanding, Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, a very warm welcome to you all who have come to Mass today. Great to have a real live congregation in church, even though the numbers are limited. I also warmly welcome those parishioners who are watching and listening by YouTube, at home, or elsewhere. As we are in an enclosed space and you are wearing masks, I will try to move more quickly than usual, but I hope prayerfully. Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. Bernard, and this Mass is offered for Mrs. Busrutil, who died recently. We've gathered to give praise and thanks to God our Father, to thank him for all the graces and blessings he has given to us. And now, at the beginning of Mass, we ask him to forgive our sins and to make us worthy to celebrate Mass today. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you shouldered at the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, Grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Ecclesiastes, sorry, a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Whoever fears the Lord will act like this, and whoever grabs the law will obtain wisdom. She will come to meet him like a mother, and receive him like a virgin bride. She will give him the bread of understanding to eat, and the water of wisdom to drink. He will lean on her and will not fall. He will rely on her and not be put to shame. She will raise him high above his neighbor, and in full assembly she will open his mouth. He will find happiness and a crown of joy. He will inherit an everlasting name. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalmist. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. 
How shall the young remain sinless? By obeying your word. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. I treasure your promise in my heart, lest I sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my tongue I have recounted the decrees of your lips. I rejoiced to do your will, as though all riches were mine. Lord, teach me your statutes. Let's stand up for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one. With me in them and you in me, may they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they may always see the glory you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you loved me may be in them so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, today we are celebrating the feast of St. Bernard, who was born in France in the year 1090. He was brought up religiously and joined the Cistercians in the year 1111. Easy date to remember. Soon afterwards, he was elected to be the, mon the abbot of the monastery of Clairvaux. He was outstanding in directing his months in virtue, both by his work and his example. He was a major leader in the revitalization of monasticism through the Cistercian order. He had a special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. He wanted to stay in his monastery, but he was asked to come out and preach because of divisions had arisen in the church. 
and he traveled around Europe trying to restore peace and unity. A schism arose in the church. Two bishops were claiming to be Pope, and Bernard was asked by the King of France to come and decide who was right. And St. Bernard selected in Pope Innocent II, who was Pope, and the other anti-Pope was driven away. There were also heresies at the time, and St. Bernard was asked by his teaching and preaching to counteract the damage that they were doing. St. Bernard died on the 20th of August in the year 1153. He was canonized in 1174 by Pope Alexander III, and he is the first Cistercian to be declared a saint. In 1830, Pius VIII bestowed the title of Doctor of the Church on St. Bernard. He is the patron of beekeepers and candle makers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. My brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> Using acclamation number two, the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Cardinal and all the clergy and people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us once more praise the Father and pray to him in the words which our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As followers of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, let's hear with each other a sign of his peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am a 
not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. The communion antiphon. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O oh Lord, as we honour Saint Bernard, work its effect in us, so that, strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate Word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Holy Communion will be distributed immediately after Mass. You have already made an act of faith in the real presence of the Lord, so Holy Communion will be given in silence. Please follow the direction of the stewards. And finally, thanks to all of you for joining our worshipping community today as we gave Praise and thanks to God. And until we meet again, may the Lord hold you gently in the palm of his hand. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass has ended. Let us go forth glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thank you, God.